Hi again. Here we are to continue our JavaScript shopping cart discussion. Um, so in the last video, I, I kind of set up a, an array to hold all of our cart items. And then, you know, I set up a function that will generate objects that we'll store in the cart array. Okay. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to discuss, like, how is our cart going to actually function? I mean, we could write code kind of like I did here directly in our program, but really it would be good for us to use the power of functions. Like I described earlier, you know, functions allow us to um, store code for later use, right, and reuse. Okay, it keeps our code simple because, you know, we, we write a function to do something for us and then, you know, we always call on the function to get that job done. We don't write the code inside the function over and over again. And if we do, we should realize that, hey, we should make a function out of that so we can reuse the code, right? Um, so one thing that comes up when, when you're doing this is choosing the names for your functions. So when you choose a name, you want to choose a name that describes what the function does. And functions usually take actions, so we want to we want to choose a like an action word or an action phrase that describes what kind of action the function is taking, right? Um, you know, variables in general tend to be tend to be more um, you know um, static, right? They just sit there until you do something with them. They hold a value until you change until your function you know changes the value, right? Um, so let me let me delete this stuff for now. But we'll leave the cart and the item. These are these are going to be core to our our system. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to think about what does our cart need to do. Okay. And so I'm going to list a few things here, and I'll just put them in with a comment. And I didn't really I didn't really explain comments, but I'll I'll go over them really quick here. You know, if you put the double slash, and this only works inside the script tag, right? There's a different type of comment for the regular HTML if you're outside the script tag. But inside the script tag, if you do double slash, then the JavaScript interpreter ignores all the code here. So you can just write anything you want, and it won't generate an error, okay? If you have a large comment, you can begin with with you know these two characters and then close it with these two. And that allows you to do a multi-line comment like this, right? So you can have as many lines as you like. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Well we gotta think about what is our what does our shopping cart need to do? So if you're gonna use the shopping cart, um, you're gonna probably want to add items to the cart. So we need a function that says, you know, add item to cart. And you know what? That kind of just says it all. Add item to cart. <laughs> okay, you know, we could call it that. We could also just call it add item. Maybe that works. Sometimes longer names are, are actually better. They seem kind of a hassle, um, you know, because you're typing more characters. But, you know, if they're more descriptive, then that can be actually very helpful, you know, as long as they're maybe not too ridiculously long, right? Um, when I type the function names, I'm always going to follow this procedure. I'm going to begin with a lowercase letter and then use an uppercase letter every time I come to a word break. Okay. Um, the only exception to this is when I define a function that's going to act as a class, right? in which case I'll, I'll start with an uppercase letter. You know, that might sound a little opaque. You might not quite know when to do what there, but uh, you know, I'm sure you, you'll, you'll actually pick this up pretty quick if, if you do keep Keep, you know, keep writing JavaScript, right? So, um, so let's call this one add item to cart. So we're going to just kind of comment in the functions that we want to create here first, and then we'll write them later. So add item to cart, though, you know, um, needs to take some parameters because you can't just add, you know, nothing to the cart, right? That's not adding an item, right? So maybe add item to the cart is going to have name, price, and count, okay? Um, and then uh, maybe we need a corresponding remove item from cart, okay? And, uh, you know, we may modify this later, but, uh, you know, like if we added an ID name to the, to the item, then maybe we'd want to include that here. Um, if we remove an item from the cart, then we're going to need to know 
which item it is that we're going to remove, right? So maybe we need to include the name. Maybe we can find an item by its name. You know, maybe if items have the same name, like two of them could have the same name, then the ID would be useful, right? Or maybe, you know, if we have items that might end up having the same name, we want to check name and price together, right? We won't worry about those situations, and we'll assume for now that all items will have a unique name, okay? So that's our, our programming assumption there, okay? So, uh, so we'll say remove item from cart, okay? Now, we got to think of all the possibilities, right? So if you remove an item from the cart, what if there was, you know, more than one of it? I mean, are we totally erasing, like if you had, you know, three apples in your cart, and we say remove, you know, item from cart apple, does that remove one of the three apples or all three, right? So, um, you know, here we might, you know, have a count. So we could say remove item from cart, and then we could say, you know, how many items to remove. Um, I'm thinking right here, maybe this just removes one item. Okay, right? Um, and then maybe, maybe we'll make, um, we'll make another function that just removes you know, all of that particular item from the cart. Um, let's call that remove item from cart all. And this one will still need to know the name. Okay? Right? removes all of item name, right? So we got add an item to the cart, remove an item from the cart, um, remove item from cart all, okay? So that kind of clears that item. Speaking of clearing the cart, maybe we need a function to completely remove everything from the cart. Let's call that, you know, clear cart. You know what, this doesn't probably doesn't need any parameters because it's just going to remove everything, right? So we'll just leave the the parameters empty there, right? Um, what else do we need to do? Maybe we need to um, count the cart. Maybe we'll say count cart, right? Um, now, count cart is interesting because, you know, we can count the number of items in the cart array, and that tells us, like, how many, you know, different kinds of items we have, right? But... You know, what if we had three apples and two toothbrushes, like, you know, the, the number of items in the cart array it will be, you know, two, but we actually have five items in our shopping cart. So maybe count cart needs to look at each item in the cart array and then total the counts for each of those items, right? Okay. Um, so there we go. We can count the cart here, right? And actually, that brings up a good point, too, with, with add item, right? So when we start writing the code for add item, you know, we'll have to add an item, but if the item already exists, right, we'll have to check for its name, and then if it already exists, maybe maybe we have to just incre increase the count of that item. So if I had three apples in the cart, and then I did an add item to cart, and I added another apple, then maybe now we should have four apples in the cart. Right? Instead of adding a new, you know, Apple item to the to the cart array, right? Okay, so what do we got here? We got uh, you know, add item to cart, remove item from cart, remove all of a particular item from the cart, clear the entire cart of all everything, right? Count the number of items we have in the cart. Maybe we need to get the the total, right? So maybe we need to get um, total cart. Right, and maybe that gives us the total of all the items in the cart. And these these functions here, you know, you notice they don't need any parameters, right? Because if you say clear cart, like, you know, I, I, and I'm not sure what else I would tell it. You know, it's just going to remove everything from this array here, and it's gone. And then count the cart. Well, you know, we don't need any parameters for that. It's really going to return a value to us. Remember when we talked about return? And total cart is going to do the same thing, right? It's going to just return the total to us, right? So uh, why don't we make a little 
a little note here. I'll, I'll do this little arrow thing, right? So this one's going to, you know, return nothing, I guess. Actually, this one down here, though, is going to return the total, right? Or it returns the, the total count, let's say, right? And then this one returns the total cost of the cart, right? Okay. These functions don't need to return anything, though they could, right? Maybe you add an item to the cart and then the function returns the item to the cart or maybe returns to you the total count for that item. You know, take the example of the apples. Like if I had three apples in my cart and then I added another apple, maybe, you know, maybe add item should return four, like it should return the new count, right? So we'll think about that. We might include that, you know. Um, you know, and if I don't include it, you can try and include it on your own or add your own features here, right? Okay. So uh, so anyway, so that's getting us started there. Let's talk about a couple other functions we might add, right? So we got, uh, you know, um, clear cart, count cart, total cart. Maybe, you know, we want to display the cart on the page, so maybe we need a function like list cart. And maybe this function, you know, returns an array of all items, right? You know, I wrote it like that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, I'm trying to say, like, it's going to be an array of items, right? And it's going to return that array to us, so now our the rest of our program can, you know, generate some HTML to, to display all the items in the cart, right? So that's probably what, you know, pretty useful item that's going to get a lot of, a lot of use in our, um, in our program, right? Um, what else are we going to do? You know, it's going to, like I said, it's going to take us a little while. You, you'll be surprised that these functions will actually be a lot shorter than you think. There, there's really not a lot of code would go into each one of these, right? They'll be pretty short, um, you know, but we're trying to be thorough here too, right? So uh, what else can we do here? Well, you know what? If we have a multi-page website or if we have a, a website where people might shop but then they don't buy anything, but then they come back and they still want to see their cart, maybe we want to save the cart, right? We could use local storage to save it, right? Local storage is sort of like a, a cookie or a way to save you know, information locally on the computer. I mean, you might get more complicated and save your stuff to the database. So if someone logged in on another computer, they'd still see their cart. You know, for this, we'll just use a local cart, right? But you could extend that later. So maybe we'll save the cart there. Um, well, if, you know, if we, if we save the cart, right, we'll probably need a function to load the cart, right? So you know, if we save the cart to local storage, maybe we need a function that when you load up the page, when the page loads, it immediately looks for the cart in local storage, and if it sees it, it loads it, right? So then you can see it on the page, right? Okay. Um, you know, so I think that's pretty thorough there. Maybe that gets your brain thinking about what's going to be involved with all this code that we write for the cart, right? So, you know, we'll just put all this stuff here, and then maybe we'll go over each one of these comments and we'll we'll build the function for it in each in there in a video in the future right so we'll just stop here and i'll let you guys think about that okay thanks for watching